actually just quickly, whoa, sorry guys, I look way too different because I actually have makeup on, you guys have always seen me so trash, but I'm back, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I actually did my makeup today, but I am um, headed to pick Cole up, I just wanted to give you guys like a little quick story time on what I'm dealing with right now. So, um, on Sunday, well, this this past weekend, my son and I went with my sister and my daughter to Lake George, New York. We went to a really, um, like a water park with my daughter and her friend as well. So it was us five. It was a lot of fun. Um, we did it because my daughter's birthday is actually on Thanksgiving and she's turning 10. And my sister's birthday is three days later. So we went to the park to... <clears throat> like celebrate an early birthday for her and whatever it was a lot of fun look how short my hair is you guys anyways um it was great my neighbor watched my dog um and sunday we were headed home cole and i after dropping everyone else off and my neighbor was like hey your dog's out on the line hazel um hazel's out on the line i'm just gonna leave her out if you're close and i was like yeah i'm five minutes away leave her out and then she'll get to see us pull in and it will be awesome so we get to my house I pull in I put the car in park Coley's in the back seat he hops out I hop out I go to the front front of my car that's all I had done go to the front of my car I bend down and Hazel's on her line and I'm giving her hugs and kisses and I turn my head and I look over to my other neighbor's house and her two pit bulls are charging at me and my dog. We get attacked. I'm trying my best to get them off of her. All I'm doing is like bear hugging her um, to try to block as many bites as I can. And I'm taking the, the blunt of the bites. We're on the ground slammed against the front of my car. Um, I guess Coley, I like kind of blacked out during the attack. I guess Coley, um, you know saw it happening hopped back in the front seat of the car my neighbor was just standing there in complete fucking she was frozen couldn't do anything um and i guess the owner of the two pit bulls came down and like her name's beth and um like grabbed them and pulled them you know the remainder of the way off of me and my dog and um turns around goes back into her house right I stand up, there's fucking blood everywhere. Um, my hand's bleeding really bad. I It was just this, but like the, they bit my finger. My whole body is in so much pain. My dog has blood everywhere. My other neighbor and her daughter, like I said, my, my neighbor and her daughter, um, her daughter came out and grabbed my dog and was trying to figure out where she's bleeding from. Originally, we thought she was bleeding out from the neck and I'm like, oh, my dog is gonna die. My dog is gonna die today. It was so bad. I'm flipping out, screaming. I'm like, you fucking scumbag. Da, 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 screaming all this shit. Mind you, the pit bulls that attacked me on Sunday, one of them attacked my son two years ago, tore Tol Coley's leg apart. I didn't press charges then because I felt bad. And it was a one time thing. And I was like, accidents happen whatever so i did not press charges two years ago when they attacked my when he, the boy dog's name is tyler the girls is maya they just got maya like a month ago mind you these two people that own these dogs are raging junkies and i am not talking poorly on junkies i'm an ex-junkie i fucking know how it is but when you have an animal it is your responsibility to make sure that they're not going to harm people and that their people are safe and that these animals are well taken care of that is your responsibility as a pet owner they never walk the dogs the dogs are never ever ever around people and not to mention the these are the neighbors that are always like having the domestic so these dogs are watching them pound on each other and i'm sure if they hit each other they hit these dogs you know what i mean so they are definitely not taken uh, raised properly um, so whether it was a pit bull or not they would be attacking it's just the way that they're being raised um, and what they see on a daily basis so 
I originally never pressed charges two, two years ago. But then I get attacked on Sunday and the bitch doesn't even come out to like see if we're okay. Nothing. She just stays inside after she pulls her dogs off of me and my dog. So I fucking called 911 obviously. My dog's bleeding out. I'm fucking bleeding. I'm, I'm like blacked out fuming. Um, we, her and I end up getting in an argument. She comes out because I call her a junkie. You call me a junkie. I'm like, yeah, I fucking call you a junkie, bitch. Fucking walk your dog. Fucking take care of your dog. Don't sit in there fucking dope sick and smoking crack all fucking time. And don't take care of your dog. So then they're attacking the whole fucking neighborhood. So the, the dog also attacked my neighbor's dog a week and a half ago. It was not bad though. But they opened their door at 930 at night. My neighbor went out to go smoke a cigarette and walk his dog. And that fucking one of the pit bulls was sitting right outside of our fucking door. And jumped right on their tiny little dog. Both of our dogs. I have a little beagle. You've seen Hazel you guys. And... Um, Henry's a little tiny, like, I don't eat chihuahua type thing. Oh my God. So, and then I guess they, they bit a woman walking by with her dogs like two weeks ago, but it wasn't really bad. So these dogs are biting everyone and everything. So it's just to the point where I have to press charges. I do not call the cops on people being an ex addict. I do not call the cops on people never have. I do not press charges on people. I usually handle it myself. But if I don't do something and these dogs end up killing an animal or mauling a child or somebody else, and I could have done something and I didn't, I'll never forgive myself. So I have got to do something. I have the, I have the chance to do it. I'm going to do it. So I, I said, yes, I want to press charges. Um, I guess the, the owner of the boy dog, of the dogs is in, like, the male is in Puerto Rico for work or something. I don't know. Uh, he's a fucking construction worker, so I don't even know how he can afford to go over there. But whatever. Anyways. Um. So, yeah. Her and I got in an argument. The ambulance comes. The police come. I have to get checked out because my hand's bleeding everywhere. Um, Coley's crying my dog we realized that it was just from her ear but because she's a beagle and she's got like those little floppy leather ears like no matter what look at that long piece of hair no matter what um they wouldn't have been able to like stitch it so i was like all right just stop touching it let it like you know coagulate claw it and i'm just not going to clean it for a couple days so it can like fully fully try to heal i haven't even touched it this happened sunday and it's thursday and i've yet to clean her ear it's not infected or anything um but i was like i highly doubt that these dogs have rabies shots they definitely are not registered all this shit. so then the cop that was on the case that day was like i'm gonna tell them they have 24 hours to get me you know paperwork this and that uh, I scream over to my neighbor. I'm like, call the landlord. Like, my good neighbor that was watching my dog. I'm like, call the landlord. She calls the landlord. The landlord is pissed. Well, pissed. As pissed as he gets, I guess. But I guess when he was over at their house a couple, like a month ago, painting, the dog bit him then. And he told them that they need to get insurance on the dog or they need to get rid of the dog or they need to go. I don't believe they got insurance. I guess the police have rabies vaccine information. I don't know. I haven't heard back from the police, the police officer that was on duty then. So that's how it ended. My fingers fucked up. It hurts really bad. Doesn't even look that bad, but it's, I don't know if you guys can see. It was like bleeding. It's like deep, you can tell. It was bleeding everywhere. And of course my dog's ear is still sensitive and shit. So anyways, fast forward to today. Today's Thursday at 2.30. I'm sitting in line right now. I just left Walmart. I bought Cooley a bunch of shit. Um, but yeah, so I had to go to Walmart today at 1.45. Spend $65 that I do not have, which I didn't have to do, but what else am I gonna do? So I am at my house and I'm waiting, just watching YouTube or whatever. And my neighbor, the guy neighbor calls my phone on Facebook and I didn't answer cause I'm like, that's fucking weird. I don't even have him on Facebook. Him and I text once in a while, but like about shit at the house. So I thought it was very odd. 
that he wears tight jeans and he shouldn't. Um, no, not my neighbor, the guy that's walking by at my kid's school. So I thought it was really weird that he called me. And then I get a text from him saying, the pit bulls are loose. Just want to let you know. What? The pit bulls are fucking loose? Oh, I didn't even say this. Okay, so take it back. So Sunday, take it back to Tuesday night. Cole and I go for a walk. It's like 7.30 at night. And we go for a walk. And for the last, like, million of walks that I've done since Sunday evening to Tuesday evening, I walk Hazel all the time. I have yet to go up past their house. I've just been going the short way to a dead end. So I was like, Coley, let's go the long way. You know, I have my taser. We're going to go the long way. Hazel really wants to go that way because, you know, she's a dog. So we head up. We get right past the house that the pit bulls live in. And I turn my head and the doors are fucking open. So there's two doors. There's a screen door and then there's a wood door. The wood door is wide open. You can see that inside the house, the door is wide open. And you can see the screen door is not latched. You can see like an inch and a half like this. I'm like looking at them cross-eyed. You can see like an inch and a half like this much of the light shining through. I take a picture of it, send it to my neighbors and I'm like, hey, everyone be careful. If the pit bulls want, they can push that fucking door right open and run out and attack again. So that was on Tuesday night. I didn't do anything. I texted my landlord finally that night, actually. And I said, hey, just so you know, the door is wide open. The pit bulls can get loose. And he's like, I'm not sure what you want me to do. I, I told them they have 30 days to get rid of the dogs, uh, but we have to wait. We have to do court process, this, that, this, that. I'm like, I understand. I'm just letting you know that the door is wide open and the dogs can get loose again. So then today they get loose. Nobody's home. That guy is in Puerto Rico, I guess. And I guess the girl works at her millions fucking factory job. No offense to factory people. I used to do it. I fucking still would be doing it if... I wasn't working at the nursery home. But, you know, factory jobs you usually can stay at for a while because you mind your own business. You do your line and you get paid. She keeps getting fired from all of them because she's nodding out at the fucking thing. She is not a fucking... Anyways. I've been there, so I don't want to talk too much shit, but it just really pisses me off. So anyways, um, I, I'm like... So he, the neighbor calls me. And is like, hey, the dogs are loose. And I'm like, okay, great. I didn't text my landlord because I'm like, what the fuck's he gonna do? He's gonna tell me, oh my God, there's nothing I can do. We gotta wait for the courts. I already gave them a notice. To... All right, so I just call the cops at this point. I'm like, look at the clock. It's 1.30. I gotta leave to get Coley at 2.30. Well, 2.15 usually, so I got 45 minutes. What's gonna happen with this dog? Like, I'm not going outside. And I don't want to pull in with my kid. Even if I do get out to the car, I don't want to pull back in with my kid and try to unlock the door with all of our back, his backpacks. Fucking get, no. I call the cops. I'm like, hey. I get, I get a hold of dispatch and I'm like, <clears throat> Angela, da 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 da. Gave her my address and I'm like, I was attacked by pit bulls. Me and my dog were attacked on Sunday here in Swansea. That's where I live, next to Keene. I've told you guys that. And I was like, um, we were attacked by pit bulls on Sunday and um, the dog's loose. The owners are not home. It's dangerous. Send a call, please. She gets back on. She gets puts me on hold, gets back on, and she's like, all right, um, it's going to be a minute, but I sent an officer your way. And I said, okay, great. Like 10 minutes goes by, not even. I see the Swansea police pull up. As soon as, and I hadn't seen the dog again, but I knew it was still out because obviously nobody's home. <laughs> but I didn't know if it had taken off in the woods or whatever. So I, um, I see the Swansea police pull in and immediately, woo, 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 the dog's fucking right at the cop's door. And I'm like, that's the dog that bit my hand. I'm like trying to scream through the window. And then I, I see the cop like doing this and I'm like, Finally, I see the cop door open and I'm like, why is he getting out? And he's got a taser and a gun in his hand. 
He was fucking teasing at the dog, getting the dog to back up, back up, back up. He turns his head and I went to high school with him. I'm like, Joey, I'm like, that fucking dog attacked me on Sunday. He's like, I know. And I was like, oh, this is bullshit. I need to go get my kid. And he's like, nobody's home. I'm like, no. I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. And he's like, well, do you, this is at 145, 130. He's like, do you want to get in your car and I'll t keep him back? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I quickly grab my dog, throw her in the crate, turn my fan off, run out of the house in my slippers, get in the car, and I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do for the next fucking hour and a half? I don't pick Coley up till three. <laughs> but he was off, like, it was just so spur of the moment. So he's up by the house with the pit bull with a taser in his hand. And I'm texting my neighbors like, oh my God, the cops here finally, hopefully they do something, da da da. And I see my fucking landlord coming down the road and I'm like, what the fuck? So he stops, I see him talking to the police. I see that it's my landlord, the dog's still sitting there. Rawr, 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 rawr. Both of them, he's just holding his taser. The dog's not getting much closer. And I pull up and I like roll, I roll down my window. I'm like, what are we gonna do? My landlord's like, I don't know what. That's what I'm like, he's like, I can't do anything about it. Can we bring them to the vet? And I'm like, and the cop's like, no, we can't bring them to the vet. And it's like, we can't bring them to the Humane Society because it's not like a lost dog. We know where the dog belongs. And the landlord's like, I gotta go through the legal, we gotta go through the legal process. You know, give them the notice, wait it out. If they don't do it, then we do the event. And it's like, I, and I was like, no, I understand that. And I was being wicked nice because I just want to keep my landlord on my side. Mind you, I sent my landlord all the pictures of our attacks, of the wounds, which my body's fucking, my body was bad the day after. Um, bruises everywhere. I sent my picture, the picture of my dog, um, of my dog's fucking wounds. Picture of my son two years ago, and the landlord was not happy. So anyways, oh, and, and also, mind you, so that's what I'm saying, I guess the, the landlord went there, um, a couple weeks ago and was painting and the fucking dog nipped him. And like I said, he told, he said, I already told you guys that, but then he, the, the moral of that was, there was only one dog at that point. He didn't realize that they have two dogs now, definitely don't have insurance on both of them. So he was really mad about that. So anyways, um, I was like, I, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to get my son and I, when I, get back I want to make sure that this house is safe so I can get my son inside and then I gotta bring him to his dad's house and I want to make sure that I can leave then and the cop said I will be here until this dog is restrained and I said okay I take off I text my fucking neighbors I'm like this is crazy what the hell da, da, da. I'm at Walmart what the fuck else am I gonna do bitch goes to Walmart um and the cop messages me when I'm in Walmart and says the dog's inside the house. And it's gonna escape again through the fucking window that the domestic broke that they still haven't fucking fixed. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I think he's escaping through the broken window by the front door. And he writes back, the landlord checked everything and says it's okay. I also spoke to Bethany and we're gonna try to figure this out. Okay. And now I live in fucking terror for the next fucking 30 days. And mind you, I guarantee you that it's 30 days from when the landlord serves them this paperwork. You think my landlord's actually done the paperwork? Hell fucking no. So when he decides to do it in three months, then it'll be 30 days from that point. So that's just a quick story time that, of what I'm dealing with. I guess the dog's inside. The cops did come. At least that's on the fucking... At least there's another thing for the cops for when they do go in front of the judge. They have the attack on Sunday. The dog being loose and almost attacking the cop on today. Well, not almost, but you know what I mean. Being vicious. Um, and, then the, and then they'll pull up all police reports on the dog. And there'll be one from two years ago when I had to call 911 when he destroyed my, dog, my son's leg. So yeah, that's my quick story time. I'm gonna try to upload this. It's just gonna be a quick story time. I do want to show you guys. I got boots for Coley from Walmart. Just Walmart boots. They're size four. I hope they fit him. 
I got him this Reebok outfit, wicked cute. It's just a Reebok hoodie, light blue, so cute with the matching pants. Sweat outfits, that's all we wear around here. Um, what the fuck, go back in. So he's gonna be happy about those. I hope the boots fit, I do have the receipt, so if they don't, then fuck it. I got my daughter's um what's about jigger back here? Her uh hoverboard. Oh and not to mention um when I was leaving Walmart somebody got caught stealing. Well he actually didn't, he managed to pull it off. But when I was fucking getting my son shit, I like was gonna go down this the shore uh sock aisle and I saw this guy's ass crack hanging out. My, okay, right. So I see an ass crack and I'm like, oh gross, trash. So I don't go down that aisle, but I could like when he stood up, I like could see who he was and I was like, ew, the guy's sketchy. So I'm leaving the store and the buzzer goes off. And it's fucking that guy. So he was probably stuffing something down his hands because he did, he had one bag and he had to go through the bag and show the guy the receipt at the door. And obviously they couldn't find anything. I guarantee, look at those hairs. I guarantee he stuffed something down his pants in the aisle where I saw his fucking ass crack. Okay, so then I got this really soft hoodie. It's like one of those bare ones. And I got Coley one. It's a small woman's, but it'll probably fit him. And then I got him four pairs of black and gray joggers. Because he goes to his dad's and never comes back with any. And that's it. That's all I know. But, yeah. So that's, 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 that's everything. <laughs> And I spent $60 I do not have. So, it sucks actually, but it is what it is. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later. I gotta fucking, I'm gonna go bring Coley to his dad. See, I don't even know what. I'm gonna go bring Coley to his dad's and then I'm gonna, um, And then I'm gonna, um, go home and go to bed. And then I'm gonna go home and go to bed. Sorry, it's counting money that I don't have. I only have like 30 bucks till Wednesday. It's fucking crazy, honestly, but whatever. I don't really need money, but I have to take a gas. 20 bucks will fill it again, and I've got that. And then I've got, I don't need a smoke butt, so. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you.